everyone. Now, I keep saying that I'm not going to do any more pumpkins and I've been colouring this page in Magical Worlds by Johanna Basford and it's got quite a few pumpkins on it. I'll show you what I've been doing. I've done a little bit here. Sorry, it's really glary from the sun. I think that makes it a little bit easier. So I've coloured a few of these elements. I haven't even done one of each yet, but I thought it might be useful to show you a pumpkin. Now this one is a sort of orangey pumpkin, which I've done quite a few of, um, both this year and in previous years, but I thought it might be good to do a green pumpkin. So I thought, whoops, I'd move my book over here and do this one. You can actually see I've completed this picture. Um, I did say that I was going to show every pic, colour a bit of every picture on video and I'm clearly not because I've done this page um, without but um, so sorry but <laughs> but we're going to have a go at this one anyway so here it is it's as close as I can get in now as I say I thought I would do a green pumpkin rather than always doing the orange ones so we'll start I'm using polychromos which I've been using on this page um, with a May green. It's quite hard to see there. I'm going to colour the whole pumpkin. I'm not going to do the stem bit and the leaves yet. I'm going to colour the whole pumpkin in a lightish layer of green. And then we're going to start playing around with some shade shadows and things like that to give it a little bit of more shape. It's drawn um, with shape anyway, indicated in you know with each section but we'll do a little bit more with that and uh, yeah I thought we'll make it a green one um there are husband reckons there's purple pumpkins but he then looked them up and said actually no <laughs> they don't exist I was like mm, I think I could have told you that but never mind because he was like do one purple I, was like, I don't think so I mean I can do them purple because obviously it's my colouring I can do what I like but now I'm going to use a very dark, this is the deep cobalt green, it's a very dark colour, in the little gaps where in here, so this side of this line in here, there'd be shadow here. So I'm going to put this really dark colour in here. Now I wouldn't normally think of using a greeny blue, except husband, who maybe I shouldn't trust as he told me there were purple pumpkins and there aren't. Um, said to me, oh, there are pumpkins with a really nice bluey green colour on them. So I believed him. I think I'm going to scumble that out a little bit. Just make it a slightly larger area. Like that. And then this one, I'm going to go this side. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, I put this video, I thought I'd do you a little extra sort of Halloween-y video. I feel like I haven't done much Halloween stuff, stuff, good English, this year. Um, this is Hooker's Green, but maybe I have. I've done sort of witchy, witchy room type stuff and a few bits, but I think it's because, because I record in advance, I'm just extending this green area a bit, then it's not Halloween by the time when I, when I record it's still not Halloween now and so I'm sort of not geared up for it and then by the time I am it's sort of over if that makes sense um I don't get that quite so much with Christmas because um because it the season lasts longer you know we've already got Christmas stuff in the shops now and it's not Halloween yet um I'm going to go back to a more olivey green now. This is the earth green yellowish. Um, so I think it's a bit easier to get into the Christmas mood. Also, UK, we don't perhaps do as much Halloween as the USA does. You know, we don't really... People don't talk about it. They don't... Not too much in advance. I mean, the shops put the stuff in, but they just want you to buy it. They're not, you know, but Christmas, you know, I'm already talking about it. I'm already shopping. You know, we get into it much, much earlier. I'm doing the edge of this big piece as well. And I'm going to just blend that in a bit, you know, reduce the colour a tad. Okay. 
Now I want to go a little bit darker in a few areas next so I'm going to just do a little fussy bit. So I'm going to grab my dark sepia and I'm going to put in a bit more shadow. Now firstly I'm thinking at the bottom of each of these there might be just a little bit of shadow where it's near the ground. I mean obviously it's drawn, you know all our items are floating in the air but I would expect them to be on the ground. So just a little tad down there and then really emphasize this shadow just against or on top of that black line like that my husband's being really useful he's uh, he's unstacking the dishwasher and stacking it i was gonna do it he said no you go and get on i've gone out of the line just gonna erase that you go and get on and make some videos and i'll um, I'll do the dishwasher. It's a really deep colour and it's not going to rub off very well. A little bit. There we go. Now, now where are we going to go with this? I feel like the tips of each need something a little bit brighter. I think we're going to go with this. This is the um, Cadmium Lemon, Yellow Lemon. Sorry, I'll get the name right in a minute. I haven't got my lamp on. I just realised the sun was shining so brightly just now that I didn't need it on. So I'm going on the edges of all of our pumpkin sections to make it a bit brighter. Like that. And then I am going to go back to our May Green and just put a little bit more of May Green on just to try and even it out and blend it all up a bit. Just give a bit more intensity really. I'm not going all the way to each edge because I want those to be a bit darker and lighter, if that makes sense. Just trying to make sense. Like that. Now we've got, looks like an unripe tomato. Oh well. <laughs> now we've got this bit. Um, I'm going to do um, a layer of May Green again. It's quite a good base colour for everything really. No crystal balls, toadstools, jar, no, no. quite a strange mix of items on this page. You've got your crystal ball, your pumpkin, your toadstool, your magical potions, your bottles. You've got butterflies and toadstools and ivy and leaves and keys and moths and it all seems very magical. Apples, pears and turnips. I do not know why we have those but it just makes it more interesting doesn't it? Right, permanent green olive. Where are we going to get enough? There we go. Now, in the stem, I'm going to put a few bits at the bottom like that. And hopefully it looks a bit like the stem's dipped in. And I'm going to put a bit at the top. Put some lines in the stem a bit. With the leaves, I'm going to make them a little deeper at the bottom. Like that. Just to show a bit of a depth of colour. Now on the stem, we can put a little bit just at each end. Try and sort of fade it as you go. And then on our pumpkin, I want to put a few little lines. Because often on pumpkins, they have a line like this maybe. And up from here. Just little marks on the skin type thing. Just here and there, like that. So there we have a green tomato um, pumpkin. <laughs> it still looks like a tomato to me. <laughs> but there we have a green pumpkin. <laughs> so it's just a quickie, just to, uh, I, as I was colouring it, I thought I'd just demonstrate it to you. I might do something else as well for you, um, just before Halloween is sort of over. There's a, a few other items in here that might be useful. But uh, that is me for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little 
little quickie and uh, hopefully you'll tune in for another video tomorrow but for now thank you so much and happy colouring <laughs>